Toronto. Thanks for coming. I don't know if you're coming to a concert part, but thanks for being here. Oh, anytime. Yeah. Thank you. No, I, you know, did you know that, Austin, that I didn't make Um, about four years ago, I was um, part. Of, I was a cancer patient at Children's Hospital, and he was playing at one of the concerts. And they asked if I could do a duet with him. Yeah. And ever since we've kept in touch, and yeah. he's asked me to play with him again. So. Yeah, he was and he, um, you know, he wanted to play sax. So I said, "Come on!" So we played a, played a song together, and he did a great job. You know, for a twelve-year-old. And uh, so ever since then, we've been emailing each other and keeping in touch on a regular basis. And, it, and tonight I said, come and, come and play with me. Now, since then, Austin has become a really great saxophone player. About the importance of that. Well, the thing about classical music is that, you, you, you know, everybody on the stage has spent their whole life learning an instrument. I mean, I know what it's like. I mean, I've been practicing my saxophone for about 45 years now. So my whole life is about playing an instrument and trying to be as good as I can be. And that's, it's just great to go see musicians that really practice their instruments and care about playing their instruments well. And then the music is so beautiful, and it's it's just um, it's I think it's breathtaking. I love watching live musicians really play, and it's um, I mean young people like classical music. I like classical music. I like jazz, of course. I like heavy metal music. I like a lot of kind of music. Yeah, I can you like heavy metal music? Do because there's of all of those heavy metal things. You ever listen to heavy metal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I started off actually being very much into theater and um, not even just pop. Like, I didn't just want to be a pop singer. I was actually very into, like, musical theater and just theater in general. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Uncle Kenny. Um, and it, it was really cool. It was really nice to meet him on set. So, you know, since I'm from Orange County, um, it's nice to come out and support. Um, I mean, it's important not even just in Orange County, but everywhere. Because I feel that especially kids that want to get into having a career in music, you can't just know about what's current. You need to learn about like the history of music and how it develops. I feel like it's what makes you like a better artist and a better person. Then there was this. Uh, we d my family was poor. We did not have any like record player or anything, so uh, I had to turn to radio, Radio Kuwait, and you know they had this show with Western music, and it kind of introduced me to you know Western pop music. They also had a, like a classic, you know, uh, a section where would they would play you know Tchaikovsky and music and Western classical music. Uh, started off with, of course, you know, Beethoven. I don't know why, you know, people, uh, especially this, that part of the world, you know. I, and the first thing I heard was, you know, the, the fifth, um, Beethoven's fifth, and I was just struck by it. And then, and then you know, it's like, then I felt that, God, I'm part of this world, you know. I'm not just alone sitting, uh, a kid in Pakistan, just, you know, part of this, you know, huge community. So music... Well, I mean, I have to tell you that music for us has been kind of like church, to be honest with you. Gretchen's written and released three singles um, after her fiancé passed away from cancer. It was a big deal for her to be able to kind of 
release those inner feelings and discuss it. She's written a song on behalf of my son, who's a brain cancer patient. Um, and that motivation, the lyrics that he heard, are, are something that has inspired him to really continue his fight. You know, it's really so important. And now what they're doing, um, which we recently found out, is music is being used as a, as a rehab. You know, whether it be, because my son is a, as a brain cancer patient is having you know, issues cognitively. M they're finding music is helping rehab the cognitive skills that maybe you can't do through regular speech therapy or through regular regular activities. After Jeff passed away, I actually wrote a song that was called Nothing Without You, and it was, I mean, I've always written songs, and I've always had my songbook, if you will, and um, it was it was really my way of coping with what I was dealing with in my life at the time. So, um, you know, I was fortunate enough that I was in the limelight and could use my voice to get that music and those lyrics out there, but there's a lot of people that don't ever have the opportunity that I have, and we have other, you know, ways or forms. Well, first of all, the arts in general are so desperately important. I mean, we're forgetting that it's terribly important to feed the body, it's terribly important to exercise, but the arts are what feeds the soul. And if you don't have art as you're growing up, there's something terribly missing. You, you need it. And it's been proven already that classical music helps train the brain. And uh, along with math, this is what fully rounds out uh, the spirit. So if you're bringing your...